We saw earlier how to add, modify and delete database records using phpMyAdmin. Now we'll do the same thing using a simple interface in PHP. I've prepared a couple of files to get us going. These are display and insert.php and insert.php in the working files folder for this lesson. Copy them to PHP demos and open them up in Komodo Edit. First of all, in display and insert.php, you'll see that this contains much the same code as the script display.php from the lesson before last. We connect to the database and then we use the same method as we used in display.php to display all the data in the database. There's no need to use a prepared statement here because there's no user input to sanitize. Then, as before, we have a table header and then a loop using fetch object, within which we echo out each row of data as a table row. Below that, the code's new. We have a form pointing to insert.php using the method post again. And within the form, we have a table. And then inside the table cells, we have input boxes where we can type in the data that we want to add. And below that, we have a submit button. Now, all we need to do in insert.php is to write the code to insert this new data. And for this, we will use a prepared statement. In it, I already connect to the database and I've already assigned the values of the post superglobal to variables. As before, we'll set up an object called $STMT using a prepared SQL query. We saw the syntax for SQL inserts in the chapter on SQL, and it starts out with insert into, and then the table name, and then in parentheses the list of affected field names, separated by commas then values, and then in parentheses a matching list of values in the same order. But in the prepared statement, the values are replaced by question marks. Then we used bind param as before, with three strings indicated by SSS, and then the three variables to insert, which are $Username, $Password and $Secrets. We leave out ID both here and in the table. Because the field is set to auto-increment, its value will be automatically set. Then we execute the statement, and then close it. And we can redirect the browser back to the originating script, display and insert.php, by setting its header location, using header, and then in parentheses, location, colon, and then the name of the file that we want to redirect to. Now, load up display and insert.php in your browser, put in some new values for name, password and secrets and press submit and check that it works as expected. And that's fine. That's the basic way to insert data using a prepared statement in PHP. In the next lesson, we'll adapt these two scripts to delete data from the database.